I'm making this early morning video, man. On my way to work. I gotta drive this morning. Can't get a ride this morning, so I'm driving myself in. It's about a half an hour drive. Oh, uh, man, but... I'm just making this little quick video about the feelings and the pride that's involved in these boxing fights. I know a lot of y'all like to drive now. Y'all make videos, but in Baltimore, I don't know. I don't, I don't feel. I don't like to do it. I, I like to do it when I'm walking somewhere instead of driving. It seems like it's you could take your eyes off the road for a second. I've been driving for a long time, but you can take your eyes off the road for a second and then. Before you know it, you're in some kind of fucking condition. But it's, it's, it's a lot of pride. I'm not I'm not just talking about the Earl Spencer, Sean Porter. I know a lot of people's clowning Sean Porter, talking about his shoes, talking about K. Diddy, talking about all kind of shit about Sean Porter. Hodge forward, Hodge forward, um, take advantage of his life and all that type of shit. But you gotta realize, man, K. Diddy, that's the way he raised his father. I mean, I ain't no K. Diddy. Sean Paul and that's that's the that's their relationship with his son. All that shit goes out the window once they once they get in the ring, man. You got yeah, you know, man. People gotta respect Sean. People gotta. It's like people got too much feelings, and and, and I was listening to Barbershop Conversation yesterday. He got a late night show come on. It's real good where he accept calls and shit like that. I listened to it while I was um while I was while I was relaxing. I could not get that much sleep, so I was listening to his show. And he really, really, really don't like um, Kenny, um, Kenny Porter. I, I, I didn't know that. He really don't like him. And they really, and, 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 um, it's, and uh, I listened to a little bit of um, the Ticket TV. They really got like they life invested. It seemed like they got their life invested in Earl Spence's success. That was a... Sean Porter, whether you think, whether you like his style or not, you got to realize Sean Porter is Ken Box. That's his style he cho he chooses to do. Now, I talk a lot of shit on my, um, I talk a lot of sh shit when I'm making videos. But, but I'm, when I'm honestly speaking and not, not clowning, Sean Porter, Porter, Porter will wipe any, any, any of us the fuck up. I don't care how much I know. I've been boxing since I was eight years old. I done boxed all kind of motherfuckers, pros, uh, uh, motherfuckers, uh, kind of people. I got good deep. My my specialty is defense. I'm worked years and years and years on defense, but I know I don't care how much I did it, how long I did it. I got I realized that if I get in the ring with Sean Porter and Sean Porter serious, Sean Porter will fuck me the fuck up. Any of us. This is what he do for a living. He's the world champion. And he, and he tough. And it's not only that. It's not only that he, he, he can box real good. He can fight his ass off. I believe Sean Porter can fight. He can get that nigga on the street. He'll wear somebody's ass out, man. Earl, Earl. I, I thought Earl Spence was going to take a different approach. But I, now I'm starting to realize even if Earl Spence would have tried to use a little. It, it would it have been hard getting away from Sean Porter that night, man. Sean Porter was motivated that night. It was almost also Buster Douglas against Mike Tyson shit. He was motivated. When a man motivated, anything can happen, man. It's boxing. Earl Spence won. He moved on. Maybe down the line. He a rematch, man. But people can't be taking the curse. We're talking about Earl didn't do this. Taking the people taking the shit too. It's like it's like the knuckle draggers against it's like the knuckle draggers and the people against um against Earl Spence and this ain't like the people that's on Terrence Crawford nuts. Terrence Crawford have not fought now one person like 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 um Earl Spence or or um Kell Brook when Kell Brook he haven't fought nobody like Kell Brook he haven't fought nobody like Mikey Garcia he struggled with a one legged David Benavidez but I know Terrence Crawford is a good boxer and I know her Earl Spence Will be a good fight because Earl, me, Earl, both of those guys will be motivated. Maybe, maybe Earl Spence will be as motivated as Sean Porter was against his biggest rival. It's Terrence Crawford. It's his biggest rival right now. Maybe he'll be motivated. You never know when two men climb inside the rings. And I didn't know Bobby Shop really got a vendetta against. Um, he really got a vendetta against Terrence Crawford because. 
Terrence Crawford won't do an interview with the LDBC. I, I, I found out all this shit yesterday. It's like, it's too many, it's too much. Kenny Porter Barbershop versus Kenny Porter. He's versus, he versus Terrence Crawford. It's too, it's too many. And it's black on black crime. And it's supposed to be all this black love. But it's all this black hatred inside the boxing community, man. It's crazy. Hatred inside the black community, man. Barbershop versus conversation versus K Diddy, me, me Kenny Porter. I'm not calling him that. I'm not calling him that no more. Uh, 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 Kenny Porter and um and Terrence Crawford, man. It, 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 that shit need to stop, man. That shit is con. That's, that's, that shit is sickening, man. That shit is too personal and it's too emotional, man. It's too emotional out out of grown ass men in their forties and their fifties, man. It's, it's, it's not it's nothing it's women that I'm fucking can't even get me this emotional it's women that I'm, I'm dating can't I, I can't I haven't even been this emotional over women that I'm, I'm I'm dating and fucking I'm talking about supervisors or, or whatever people can't even get me this emotional man I don't see how a man can get this emotional out of boxing I know y'all getting paid off of this shit, but god damn, man. It makes me not even want to, I wouldn't even want to get to a level where I'm paid off of this shit. If, if it's going to take me to this point, I make my money doing other shit. I wouldn't even want to get involved in this shit too fucking personal, man. This shit is not personal no more. This shit can't be fun to y'all. It can't be fun no more. You that invested in a fighter, if he win, you still upset. You, it, it, it's, it's too personal. Barbershop conversation war with Kenny Port with the Porters and Terrence Crawford is 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 way too much, man. It's way too much. It's way too much. Now I know it's a whole lot of other shit. We we're not talking about the knuckle draggers and the in in um in the Vikings. The Vikings is going to be who they are. The knuckle drag is going to be who they are. This is to the motherfucking LDBC. The people that's supposed to have some sense. The people, the only person that's really cool, got his head on, on on straight, and don't take that shit like that is the boxing ego. He take this shit as a job, and he's professional, man. He don't have no wars with nobody, man. Even even when even if somebody don't, he, he don't take it like that, man. He, he, you can tell how he was raised. He, he's, 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 he's a full-grown adult. He don't, he's not a childish man. He's a full-grown adult, man. He don't take that shit like that, man. This video ain't gonna be long because I'm driving, man. And I, I usually relax. I usually be relaxing when I'm... I don't drink coffee and all that type of shit like that, but... It's a busy-ass street. I'm in Baltimore, man. It's a busy-ass street. I usually don't do videos while I'm driving. But um, I don't like to drive and do videos. I, I, you know, I noticed that I'm usually walking when I'm doing it. I drive more than I walk. But <clears throat> this time I'm ready to cut this video short because this you can easily make a mistake. You know? I ain't trying to fuck my shit up. All right, y'all, man. It's, it's, it's crazy, man. It's, it's crazy, man. The barbershop conversation war with um, Terrence Crawford. And it's not nothing personal against him. I I I don't have nothing. I don't even call him beauty shop and all that. I'm not calling people out their names no more. Unless the knuckle draggers and um and the Vikings and the pilgrims and shit like that. I call them out their name. But other black men for no reason haven't even never said my name, probably don't know me. I'm not talking about people like that. I'm not on that type of time. If I meet these people, man, in real life, it'll be nothing. They'll see I'm a cool person. I ain't got no problems with no motherfucking nobody. But I hope them I hope uh, this war is is kind of silly man and idiotic you know peace